Hey, Leela Viss here. I'd like to walk you through a brand new digital escape room at leelavis.com. And I'm imagining that I'm going to be creating more than one level because I'm excited about using this digital game series with my students. It's because it's called Olympic Training for Gold Medal Sight Reading. Now, good sight readers have three essential habits. Number one, they know how to keep going no matter what, and then they make sure they try and get the rhythms correct, and then they try and get the pitches right. Right. And so there's a hierarchy uh, in their playing when they sight read. Also, sight readers that are experienced know how to scope out all the important signs and symbols within a piece and look for patterns and repetition and key changes. And last, they also can look at a piece of music and hear it in their heads, which is called audiation. And so that's what the, these digital escape room games are going to focus on those two habits of scoping and audiating. So let me walk you through what's going to happen once you make your purchase of this level one Olympic training for gold medal sight reading. You will download a PDF that looks like this and you're going to click on that link right there and that will take you to the game. And it gives you a few pointers on what good, good sight readers uh, do as they move through a piece. And then this is what you're going to want to assign to your students before they actually play this game. I've created a set of flashcards in Quizlet that will help them get to know all the different terms and uh, you know, get familiar with them before they have to play the digital escape room game. They'll feel more prepared as they continue through the game. And then you can move forward and you're going to have to know the code and oh, it's not golf, it's gold. And then you can write in your team's name if you want to play this in a group setting. And then you can add in other people's names if you like. And then there are five different games with three questions each in this first digital escape room game. And we're going to play the basketball game. So yes, this is all based on Olympics. And so to earn your bronze medal in basketball, uh, your readers need to answer these questions. So go for the bronze in basketball. How many beats are in each measure? How many sets of repeated notes do you see? And how many lines does a double bar have? So those are all just questions that um, when your students answer these, you'll know that they understand what they're seeing. And so the answers, how many beats in each measure? Three. And how many sets of repeated notes? I see three. And how many lines does a double bar have? Two. And notice you just enter with numbers. There's nothing hard about entering the answers. I made that on purpose. The purpose is to develop scoping skills and listening skills and not have to worry about how to enter the answers to the questions. Okay, so to earn a silver medal in basketball, uh, which measures are the same? And which measures which measure goes down, which number in the time signature tells you that a quarter note equals one beat, three or four. So then again, they have to enter their answers. So which measures are the same? One and three, which measure goes down? Two, and which number in the time signature tells you that a quarter note equals one beat, so that would be four, and then you go on to the next one. And then this is the gold medal level. And this is the one that I'm really excited about because this is going to help students with their audiation skills. So I'm gonna play the video. Imagine yourself playing this pattern in your head and in your fingers. Listen to the audio recording. Identify the measure number that didn't match what was played. One, two, three. a couple of choices when your students are looking at this video. You could have, you could let them play the pattern first and then do the gold medal level in basketball. What I like though is that I want them to study it without playing it and then see if their ears are sharp enough to notice what was different. Now hopefully you noticed that measure four was different. So I'm going to enter that. And now you can go on and choose the next game. And the games are in order of difficulty. So you want to make sure that you do them in order, but you don't always have to do them all in the same 
time frame. And then there's also a victory lap, which is kind of fun. And they get to go swimming and get, have a little dance at the end. So that's what's involved with these new digital escape room games. Now I say these because now I only have one out so far, but I'm really excited about making more of these. So if they're a hit with you, which I'm crossing my fingers, they will be, then I'll be making more and they will go up in difficulty. But I wanted to start with the very basic level and go from there. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions at lilavis.com or you can reach me at lvis at me.com. Take care.